Winston Goodman here, and I'm here to tell you
that together we can build a Vegas where it's not the house always wins. It's the home. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about family and decency. I'm talking about hard work paying off. I'm talking about regular folks like you and me making a difference. Your neighborhoods and communities need not wallow in the shadows of those casinos. Your tax dollars need not be wasted on more government waste and excess. So when you walk up to that ballot box, think about who you want to be calling the shots in this town. The high road is the script. Let's go. You drive. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo! Don't worry, Winston. We'll nip this in the bud. And I'm supposed to what? Renege on all my campaign promises? It's an unforeseen delay. In construction, you have to allow for these things. Explain in a way a union strike is easier said than done, Veliano. Not to mention the fact that it just smells like money going down the drain. I don't think I'm familiar with that particular road. Do I look like I'm in a joking mood? Your loyal workers are down there shouting about standards of safety, and that's rallying up the unpaid contract folk. This keeps up. I can kiss the labor vote goodbye in addition to everything else. Jason, in exchange for their support, the Reverend and I promised a few of Vegas's more prominent businessmen a hefty stake in that convention center that you decided to Demolish. This little shit, right here, he's the one that caused this mess? All right, not so fast. Benny and Jason will go down to the site and, uh, knock some sense into the workers. As for the union boss, let's make sure he's off my payroll for good. Boy, I oughta... Why don't we go refresh your drink? The boys will call you when it's done. My fool. It's all blazing in the hood! These are hard economic times, you know? Times when you need to hold on to what's important in life. And I know how to with my little wife. Moments when I look at my kids and think, maybe they really are all right. But not out of the desert with my Betty. Just me and my music. Let me take that beauty off your hands. this way. Hi, I'm Albie Ricciano of Albie's Pawn Closet. My family has been in the pawn business for over 47 years. And if there's one thing we know, it's that sentimentality is overrated. There's no limit to what we will buy, sell, or gladly accept for the heck of it. Family earrings, guns, jewelry, and more. Got some human organs to spare? We'll take them no matter what the condition. For your kids getting out of hand, call them over and name your price. Anything and everything you don't want, we will buy. Albie's Pawn Closet. I don't care what Frank says. This strike is your mess. You're cleaning it up alone. Oh, not this bastard again. Listen, guys, it wasn't personal. This asshole cost us three months of work. Okay, I don't feel so sorry for you anymore.
Ooh. 